Hello everyone, it's great to be back here with you all for this final Meet the Musicians uh, video of the series, for me anyways. Uh, my name is Alex Chambers Ozaski, I'm the Assistant Principal Cello of the Lacrosse Symphony. And today, I'm joined by a very special guest, um, my longtime friend and collaborator, the esteemed John Paul Pendowski, and he'll be playing a few excerpts for you today. So, of course, this month's theme is international, and I thought it would be a good idea to talk about a few composers who were inspired by music from other cultures and led them to uh, write some of their landmark pieces. So, segueing perfectly from our last concert where we played Tchaikovsky's Souvenir de Florence, we have uh, another piece by Tchaikovsky called Capriccio Italien. Uh, so Tchaikovsky was inspired by a trip that he took to Rome with his brother Modest. Um, and th while there he heard a lot of folk tunes, so he says, um, folk tunes assembled partly from anthologies and partly from my own ears uh, in the streets. So in this piece he sort of evokes that Italian flavor by incorporating real folk melodies into the work. Let's, let's hear a little bit of that. by another Russian, Rimsky-Korsakov. And now, by contrast, the first piece we had was a composer who visited that country and was legitimately inspired by music that he heard while he was there. And by contrast, we have a Russian composer who is sort of evoking what he imagines to be the sound of this place. Um, and so this piece, Scheherazade, is based on the tale, the tale of the Arabian Nights. Uh, and so around this time in Russia, Russian, um, in Imperial Russia, there was a big fascination with the East. Uh, and so there was a whole Orientalism movement in Russia at this time. So Korsakov wrote a different piece called Antar, which actually uses uh, real Arabic melodies. But here he's just sort of trying to evoke the general character of what he believes um, that would sound like. So let's hear a little bit of Scheherazade, if you don't mind. piece we have is a piece by Debussy. Now, Debussy in 1889 visited the, the Paris World Conference, and here was the first time that he heard the Indonesian gamelan, and he was rather taken with this style of music and this instrument. Uh, and so he decided to evoke this music in a work called Estampes, or Prince. Um, and he used a lot of pentatonic scales. Uh, JP, you want to show us a pentatonic scale? So this is a scale that Debussy used often to evoke music from the East. Um, and in this uh, particular movement entitled Pagodas, he's, he's, he's painting a picture of these temples, these pagodas. Um, and he's, he's sort of evoking that gamelan music. So let, let's hear a little bit of pagodas here.
Well, folks, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all at the last concert of the season in June. It's going to be great. Uh, we, it's been a tough year, but we really could not have done it without all of you. I mean, it's just been really amazing what we've been able to accomplish during this time. Uh, thank you, John Paul, again, uh, and I'll see you all then. Thanks.